Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Yes, it's bargain beer review time. And as you know, on Thirsty Thursday, we will try and uh, explain a couple of life's mysteries to you. Are UFOs really real? And why the hell did kamikaze pilots bother wearing helmets? Anyway, today we have something a bit different actually. We It's 2.8% this one. It is Tolly Cobbold. That's uh, Tolly English Ale. Just quickly read you on the back. It's brewed in Bury St Edmunds in the UK, part of uh, Green King. Um, it says, this fine amber ale has been brewed using a complex mix of hops to offer balanced bitterness and strong tropical notes. All the flavour you expect from a great English ale, but only 2.8% ABV. Now, it doesn't really say anything uh, ingredients-wise, which is, you know, really, really gets on my wick. Um, um, malted barley and wheat. Well, that's useful, isn't it? And also, pregnant women shouldn't really drink it either. Right, let's get this bad boy cracked open and give it a pour. Let's see what we've got. Our trusty cast iron boss opener. Nice bit of fierce. Now, I've had this in the fridge... A couple of days, a little bit of smoke, but nothing really escaping from the top of the bottle. Now, glass wise, as you know, get me stick every week about me pouring. Got something a bit different this time. This is a 1.5 pint glass, so let's give it a nice, nice pour. Look at that, it's all looking a bit better already than my usual standard of pouring guys, isn't it? Okay. See the carbonation on that? Little middle of the road, isn't it? I, that's the way I sort of quite like them, to be honest. Yeah, well, appearance-wise, let's give you the old uh, torch test on that. Actually, can you see that? I reckon that's a bit of a like an off, an off bronze colour. Some people might say that's a bit of a, a russet amber, but I've got that as slightly off bronze. So let's dive in for a smell. Mmm, I'm getting toffee on that. And also some some fruits as well. I can't quite put my finger on what fruits, but sort of like a mixed fruit selection. Um, but the toffee mixed with the fruits actually smells quite nice. So let's go in for a let's go in for a taste. So cheers, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's quite dry on, on the aftertaste. Mouthfeel wise, it's somewhere between actually it's probably medium, sort of real sort of middle of the road really. But your aftertaste is all malts to be honest, and if you're overcritical you could even say it was perhaps a bit sickly sweet on the malts. Much, much too sweet for someone like myself, to be honest. I'm 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 sweet enough as you know, but uh, bittering wise I think the sweetness overrides the bitterness in that and uh, the, the bitterness is probably medium middle of the road again but it just gets completely sort of driven out of town by the um, by the sweetness let's just go in again um, let's see if we can get some more more aromas. No, that sweetness really, really kills it for me. That's a real shame. I was really looking forward to that. Um, won't be ooh, before I fall off my chair. Um, if you do see it, but that was one English pounds from um, super cha um, super chain supermarket chain Morrison's over here in the UK. Um, you know, quite a funky, quite funky arty. Um, Artwork, labels, etc., and just a plain reddish cap. But a bit disappointing to be honest. Um, score wise, um, probably a four out of ten, which I think is the lowest one I've ever scored on uh, Thursday. 
bit gutted. Um, 2.8%, I think it's yeah, designed for maybe like a, a cheeky lunchtime pint or if you're maybe doing a barbecue, you can have a couple of these while you're cooking your sausages and your burnt burgers so you don't get too pie-eyed before you can down your tongs and get sort of drinking with the rest of the uh, guys and gals at the do. But um, no, nah, don't do it for me. I think you'd be better off getting something stronger and making a shandy out of it than drinking something lower like this. Hot wise, it says a mixture. Um, perhaps I'm a bit too sceptical sometimes when it says a mixture of you know of of hops. You sometimes think, well, you know, it's whatever they got left over from different brews. They've just chucked it in. Um, on this one, maybe getting a bit of Challenger in there. A bit of Fuggles, maybe. I assume it's probably got some Target in it as well, but. Uh, by all means, pick one up and try it, but um, there's probably other things you can uh, spend a pound on that are a bit better value for money. Perhaps even a line on the lottery. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon for another Thirsty Thursday. Be seeing you.